STS is a multifunctional test set with a lot of inputs and a lot of outputs. So we'll start with the high voltage and high current outputs. Here you can see a special connectors for 400 volts, 400 amps DC output, which can be used to measure resistance, or 800 amps AC output, which is usually used to test ratio of a current transformer, or even maybe to trip, trip a circuit breaker to monitor how much time will it take to, for it to trip. You have a 2 kV output, which is used in many tests, and the connection for the boosters, which can be either a 10 delta booster up to 12 kilovolt or 3000 amps booster, which is a 16 kilo booster. And of course, you have grounding connections, and in case you need to reset the fuses, you can reset them here. All ESA test sets have red color, red frame around the current or voltage outputs. So these are the outputs here, obviously. In addition to that, we have the low volt, the low current and low voltage outputs. So for example, six amp DC output is used in testing of winding resistance and the AC output can be used for many things. You can use them for, for example, for ratio of voltage or ratio of power transformers. So here we stop with the red frames. These are the red frames, which signify the usage of the outputs we, just, we have just seen. The yellow ones, the yellow ones you can see here measure 3 volts AC and also DC and 300 volts AC or DC. This is a special connector due to the noise and you can measure 10 volts DC or 10 amps AC or DC. This input is uh, protected with the fuse. This output is protected with the fuse in case they get broken. Basically, it's much easier to replace them if they're uh, put in this position. Digital input is a digital input which generally stops or starts the generation depending on how you decide and it's mostly used to see the tripping time of a circuit breaker. As you can see the front panel has also of course a big screen with functional buttons. So the functional on there is an on off button, there is a functional button to summon help, there is a functional button to go into the internal uh, memory and for example to load certain results or you can also save directly so this would be loading results and this would be the files we have inside so for example we did some tests here or if now we decide to create a certain test plan you can then save it of course you have programmable keys here and a standard keypad the safety features are the emergency stop which is often used because when somebody is approaching a device which can generate 2 kilovolt, it's always better to block it. And additional safety is this key here. If you need to do a test using 2 kV output, then as you turn this key, this HV uh, light lights up to warn you about that. The device itself on the other side, on the other flank, doesn't have current and voltage outputs, but it has communication outputs. So here, the communication with external devices, whether we're talking about a tan delta, which is a power factor, or uh, STCS, which is a switch box, they're connected here so that they can communicate. The communication with the PC is through Ethernet, and you can use these inputs here to put in a USB disk in order to save or to transmit some information to, to STS. Two additional features are safety features, remote start and safety warnings. Remote start is six or 10 meter long uh, start button, basically, and safety warnings is a rotary light, which warns that uh, people that there are tests being done. The whole unit itself is less than 30 kg. You can, one person can bring it. And also you can put it in this position here, or if you have a table, you can also use it this position. It's a robust casing and especially the the travel, not a travel bag, but the heavy duty case is even more hard, uh, even more protective, so you don't have any basic uh, fears that the device might be uh, damaged in transport.